Trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway in the Beal. And a flying start for take all comers. A quick burst of speed out to the lead by a length and a half. Up on the outside, Johan Palima, captain of Corey, is away third. Two back off the pace, followed there by delayed Hanover. Next up into fifth is Son of a Mystery. Back at the pylons, Locatelli sixth, also on the outside early in range. And at the back, Ethan T. Hanover and Spy Booth also on the outside. So early on now, Johan Palima takes that lead away from take all comers. The quarter, 26 and four. And there's Captain Corey working his way to the front for Svonstedt. So he's able to get the lead without too much trouble here around that first turn and now in the straightaway. Back in second, Johan Palima is stable mate, followed by take all comers third, then comes delayed Hanover fourth. Nobody to the outside on the front end just yet. Son of a mystery is fifth. Locatelli looking to flush cover. Also outside, Spy Booth has been parked inside in range eighth and the trailer Ethan T. Hanover. Captain Corey at the half, 55 and three, 28 and four, second panel. Not too taxing at all uh, on the back stretch. It's Captain Corey still well under wraps here. Right in behind Johan Palima now delayed Hanover looking to apply pressure there for Dunn just a length and a half back. Svonstedt's head on a swivel watching that horse come up inside for third in there is take all comers second over spy is a son of a mystery showing trot also outside Locatelli back at the pylon seventh is in range three quarters 123 and four 28 and one a bit faster on the back but middle portion not too bad captain Corey by a long neck over delayed Hanover in the pocket Yolan Palima just a length back second over into contention now son of a mystery top of the stretch captain Corey looking to separate now Svonstedt starts to ask the lead is two Yolan Palima comes out of the pocket it's captain Corey Yolan Palima won't get there ride captain ride captain Corey to win it by a length and three quarters here in the Beal second was uh, Johan Palima further back take all comers third and in range fourth and captain Corey leading no doubt about it up front in 151 flat well, he was only a six to five favorite back in the Hamiltonian. Here is part of the entry. He's one to nine. So the momentum is kind of building. And this was just a rock solid effort. Kind of glided to the front. Well rated by Svonstad. His stable mate right in behind him, Johan Palima, was just a length back. And you could see that Captain Corey was just better than him in the lane and better than everybody else in this division right now.